welcome to Abe Dreger's Trapping Adventures. very much faith in my trapping ability because we checked probably 30 lynx snares and didn't catch one lynx but I'm at a coyote bait and I can show him an animal so a real dark coyote it's not not a very big coyote but this is what oh. um I set this snare the last time I was here. I hadn't had to put a snare here before. So first check with this snare and I come out with a coyote. I'm happy with that. The snare has the Senegar spring on it. Put the coyote down good. And uh, she's a done deal. We got about uh, six more coyote snares to check. Would be nice to come out with another one. Right on. Beautiful day on the line. Here comes father. Trying out his new chainsaw. Well dad, before we get to this lynx, let me see your chainsaw. You're on YouTube by the way. Okay. And, what do you think of it? It's is it is it uh, what you need here or can't is, go without it. Can't go without it. No, no, she's. There's no pulling the, the wire, nothing. You no. just press the trigger and away you go. Simple as. It's light. Yeah. And uh, and he thinks that's the action, so I don't know. Maybe the old it's been running all morning. It's been running all morning. It was minus 20 degrees Celsius in the morning, so the battery's still good. Do you know what voltage that battery is? Uh, I think it's a 40. 40 volt. Yeah, it is a 40 volt. Yeah. It's a pretty big battery. So. So I don't know. The Husqvarna's days might be numbered. It's going to be kind of hard to do. 6 amp 40 volt. Yeah. Good stuff. So we uh, have checked a lot of sets with nothing in it finally we come up to a, a nice old lynx here oh it looks like a young one actually and you know what dad i don't think it's been here very long did you feel it yet no i i thought i'd give you the camera here i'll get my mittens on uh, that old sun was pretty bright huh yeah it's a beautiful day today man solid so with the weather we've been having it's not it hasn't been here that long okay let me do the number on this See, it's not, it's not even frozen all the way yet. So, uh, yeah, this is a young cat. Not the biggest cat I've caught, but just a beautiful. They are perfectly prime now. So, there you go. Another bag, links for the links for the fur bag. Hopefully we pick up a couple more. It's been really slow. It's been hovering around minus 40, 
minus 35 degrees Celsius here for the last, well, since before Christmas. And it is January the 14th? I think so, yeah. Somewhere around there. And it's supposed to warm up now, so I, I've just found the links have completely stopped moving. So, hopefully they start moving and uh, checking out my pens. Well, we'll get this guy re rebaited and or re lured and set up again, and away we'll go. Oh, there's a cow moose and her little one. The little one is in the bush already. That's nice to see. I just came up on them here. They kind of came out of nowhere. I just pulled out of the swamp here and they appeared. So the other day I came in, I found two moose pills, but I didn't have my. You can see this all right. Just by the shape here, I can I can tell I picked myself up a cat, lynx. Now, this looks to be a small cat, probably a kitten, and I can tell I didn't catch him properly, which is very unfortunate. But surprisingly, I'm guessing this cat got caught when it was minus 40 outside, because there's really no disturbance, like he hasn't wrecked up the pen at all. So. So the snare dispatched him quickly, but I didn't catch him right. And, and the, the reason the cat got in so far is because it's a kitten. It happens. Out of, I think it's 20 links now. I've only caught two lynx that like one I caught right around the front shoulders and this one here looks like I hip snared it. Yeah it's not a big cat at all and I did hip snare it so I'm gonna make some adjustments on this snare pin because I don't really like doing that. Now, one bad thing about this cat is when it finally died, it died right on my bait pull, and I can really smell this cat because it was it was on my uh, bait stick. So, yeah, the cats. It's been so bloody cold here, and uh, they haven't been moving. They just started moving, uh, looks like yesterday. So, I, I mean, I still have quite a few link snares to check, but I don't have much uh, faith that I'm gonna be catching too many links today. It's just too cold for the cats to move. But, that's good. I'll put this guy in the sleigh and rebuild my pen here and uh, we'll continue on.